Hi, this is Halal. In this video, we will try to solve a numerical on constrained optimization with Lagrange's multiplier. So the question is, maximize profit function z is equal to 50x minus 2x square minus xy minus 3y square plus 90, 95y subject to x plus y is equal to 25. This is the profit function where x and y are the quantities of x, uh, good x and y. And the constraint here is x plus y is equal to 25. That means sum of the two goods must be equal to 25. So this is our objective function and this is our constraint for it. We have to uh, find the maximum optimum values of x, y to maximize this function. So first of all, as we have already discussed uh, in earlier video, how to uh, use the constraint optimization uh, with Lagrange's multiplier, how to optimize. Now, first we will uh, set this con uh, this constraint equal to 0. So, first step is setting this equal to 0. Set constraint constraint equal to 0. So, I will write this x plus y minus 25 is equal to 0. The first step is uh, to set constraint equal to 0. Now, after that, we will multiply this constraint with lambda. That is multiplying it by lambda. So, I will write lambda into x plus y minus 25. Now, to form the Lagrange's function, we will add this constraint with the given objective function. To form Lagrange's Lagrange's function we will add add this x plus y minus 25 with objective function so our Lagrange's function will become now this is our objective function we will write this 50 x minus 2x square minus x y minus 3 y square plus 95 and we will add it with this term this constraint that is lambda into x plus y minus 25 now to get the value of x y and lambda we have to partially differentiate uh, this Lagrange's function with respect to x, y and lambda and set them equal to 0. So, partially, partially differentiating, differentiating L with respect to x, y and lambda and set them equal to equal to 0. So, we will partially differentiate this equation with respect to x. That is L of x will become, now this will become 50, now 2 to the 4 x minus y. So, here it is 0, this will become 0. Now, lambda into x will become lambda. So, we will write plus lambda and set it equal to 0. Similarly, we will differentiate with respect to y that is L of y. So, this will uh, become now here no y is involved. Here is no y involved. Now, this will become minus minus x. Now, 3 twos are minus 6 y and sorry here it is 95 y I just forgot so this is uh, 95 y now the derivative here will become plus 95 now plus lambda into x so this will become 0 lambda into y so this will become lambda is equal to 0 now similarly we will partially differentiate this with respect to lambda that is L of lambda is equal to now here no lambda involved here it is not neither here nor here nor here now lambda into x 
will become x lambda into y then this will become y now lambda into 25 so this will become minus 25 is equal to 0 now let this be equation first let this be equation second and let this be equation third we will solve these three equations to get the value of x y and z first of all we will subtract equation 2 from 1 so i will write equation 1 minus 2 will give us now uh, this will uh, this will become 50 now 50 minus 95 50 minus 95 will come out to be minus 45 minus 45 now minus 4x and minus minus is plus minus 4x plus x will become minus 3x minus 3x now y minus y minus minus uh, will become plus that is y minus y plus 6y so this will become plus 5y is equal to 0 now let this be equation fourth now to get the value of uh, x y and lambda we have to solve these equations now here now to solve these we will multiply this equation because we have to make the coefficient of x here common to solve this so we will multiply this third equation by 3 therefore multiplying third by 3 so this will become 3x plus 3y now 3 into minus 25 this will be minus 75 is equal to 4 let's assume it is equation 5 now adding these two equations now this will become adding adding 4 and 5 now if we add these two this will become now this is 3x and this is also 3x so this will become here uh, here it is minus uh, 3x plus 3x so this will become 0 now 5 y plus 3y is equal to 8y now here is minus 45 and minus 75 so this will become this will become 1 minus 1 20 is equal to 0 now solving this will become y is equal to 120 over 8 so the value of y is here now 8 ones are so this will become 15 so we get the value of y is equal to 15 now we have to find the value of x we will write put y is equal to 15 in so we will put this in this equation in constraint constraint equation because we have to find the value of y now equation so here it is x plus y is equal to 25 that is x plus y is equal to 25 implies x plus 15 is equal to 25 implies x is equal to 10 so we got the value of x and y now to get the value of uh, to get the value of lambda we will put the value of x and y in this equation now put x is equal to 10 y is equal to 15 in in either of these two equations because lambda is involved in these two equations now we will put this in equation equation second so this will become minus x minus 6y uh, plus 95 plus lambda is equal to 0 now or i can write this as lambda is equal to now we will transpose this term to the rhs this will become uh, plus x uh, plus 6y and this will become minus 95
for you now put the value of x and y so lambda is equal to now the value of x is 10 plus 6 into the value of y we have calculated y is 15 that is 15 minus 95 now when solving this now when we will solve this this will become 10 plus 6 into 15 is 90 minus 95 now this is 90 plus 10 is 100 100 minus 95 so we get the value of lambda 5 lambda is equal to 5 now we got the value of x y and lambda now what does this lambda tell us it tells us now this lambda is equal to 5 tells us if the production level changes by un one unit the profit function will change by 5 units that means uh, that means if marginal marginal profit at production production level of level of 25 units that means if production function sorry production level if production level uh, is 24 if it is here 25 if it is 24 now then profit that is pi will decrease by 5 units so this uh, this lambda this lambda is used to see the change in the profit function subject to the change in the production level since here the production in uh, if production increases by one unit then our uh, profit will increase by five units if the production level is decreased by one unit that means if it is 24 units then the profit function will sorry the pro marginal profit will decrease by five units so please subscribe to our youtube channel econ maths for more videos on mathematical economics also comment and share